you are welcome back to this video where i show you how to create the register page all you all, all what you need to do is just to copy everything here open a new folder here oh sorry and um register okay now but we need to do some clear up here we need to do some clearance here from uh, oh, everything in section here good now let's preview the page um, okay sorry tutorial register open to Google Chrome now you can see this it's you know very plain and very clean here but now we want to make this register active since we are on the register page so you go straight to this you change this back to normal and you make this the active one so let's go back and preview now you can see it has moved to this good so let's get to work now you open the um, the div you open another div good okay now um inside is we're gonna open three divs you can copy sorry copy good you can indent them now let's take it one after the other so um, this I'm gonna has assign a class called container sorry what's this okay container now the next DV is called uh, row div class um, I'm gonna call it call MG that means the column. The column we have 12. The screen size is 12. So uh, we are going to make sure you divide everything into uh, equal parts if you want to use uh, something. But this the, the one in the middle is going to be 6. So and the one here is uh, just 3. That means 3 plus 6 that's 9 remaining. How many? 3. Good. So um, we are not going to put anything here, but if you want to put anything there, you can put anything there. So I'm just gonna let's preview. You can't see nothing yet since we haven't inserted anything. So this is where the major uh buckload of the work lies. It's just uh we are much concerned about this uh one here. So you can indent it, you can you know give space in, in it. So you need to create uh let's say a div also um for the error you need to create a form sorry we need a form good and uh, inside the form uh, we're going to use some divs so let's go let's take it on after the order um this one here is going to be called a uh, page header page header under h3 register uh, let me close my history tag now we have closed this div now the form we have here the form you have here is gonna be uh I'm gonna add a class to the form the form is gonna be called um md8 um call um okay call md8 so um, let's use offset call md offset set two Okay, good. Now this, I'm gonna insert a div. Um, I'm gonna insert like uh, two, three, four. Yeah, four divs. Now the class here is gonna be uh, uh form group. Form group uh, name 
Input class uh, form control. Now we can add a uh, placeholder. Should be full in place. Placeholder type. This is where you specify maybe what you want to use is. Uh, Sorry, I'm having problem with my keyboard, so that's why I'm copying E. Sorry, I ought to have said that to you since I'm, I'm very sorry, please. Okay, so that's the first box. Let's kindly check our okay. You can see this goes solidly well. Now, let's move to the second one. Um, um, uh, I'm gonna add a clash to this as well. It's just like Let's let let's use the shortcut. Let's uh, copy this one uh, paste twice. One under two. Now we're gonna just edit this. Um, that is gonna be your email. Your email. Email type is gonna be email um, okay your email this is gonna be your, your password okay okay you don't need any place order here um, form control okay it's gonna change this to password good and the next one is gonna be a uh, submit um, button um, yeah I'm gonna have a class here Form group. Uh, okay. Go to add input tag class. I need to specify the type of input it ought to be. Success. Okay. Uh, type is gonna submit. Okay. Good. Now. For what we have here, you have a, a register form where you can we can add one more to this. Let's add one more to this. Let's see. Oh, your username. Username. Okay, let's see. Good. Now username please let's see good now from what we have here with we can uh, i think display black uh our birth in here let's try this Um, 